Greetings! So in today's video, I'll be taking a look at all the items I got from Timu and show you guys what I did with them or how they work. So let's get to it! Alright, so remember this storage thing for clothes? I wanted to put pallets in it, that's what I did. So basically I can have all of my empty pallets. You know, empty metal pallets. The width is perfect. They fit perfectly in there. And in the areas where I had to put like more than one pallet, I took out this, these little cotton bags that I had to protect the pallets. Because the way I would store them before, I would just have them piled up and they will scratch each other. And while that's only a cosmetic consequences of piling them up, it's just not great. It's an entry point for rust, and I was not very fond of it. Plus, the plows are not very stable. They can easily tip over. This way, this even though it's a soft basket, it's going to be much more stable and much more easy to find the pallets that I need. So I'm using the white basket as a project holder for now. I use the storage box to store the buttons I got, the clips, and the thimbles. This is the little sewing kit. I've put the easy thread needles in there. I've put the needle threaders in there. There's also a thimble there. So I'm just combining items that make sense to put together. I have other sewing stuff in there, but also I started working with the, uh, the little fabric bundles. So that's why it's in there with this and this. So that's how I've been using this for now. So this little thingamajig I used for glue recently. And now I can just peel off the glue from the, the end. So yep, <laughs> very minor thing, but very handy. So with the purple fabrics that I got, I made this brush roll. I've sewn it together with the supplies that I got as well, the little sewing kit, the clips were useful to hold everything together. I used the easy thread needles for all the sewing. It's all sewn by hand because I don't have a machine. And the only thing that I had to find elsewhere was this cord to tie it closed, but it worked really well, I would say. And the fabric is really, really nice. So I have here the brushes that I got. I've washed them and they've been drying on one of the microfiber cloths, so also very useful. And now I can plop them in here. And there you go. The cats have really been enjoying the burrito blanket. I was able to take a couple of pictures of them using the blanket and they really like it. So that's another success. The cats really enjoyed their scratching thingamajig and we sometimes use it handheld, a bit like you would use a pet brush. It's a bit hard to see, but I've used the, um, the mat the non-stick mat in my paint drawers. So it doesn't move around anymore. I had enough of the plastic for two drawers and a half. So that's what I did. And I cut it with the exacto blades that I got in my order as well. So this is the clock. It's nice and bright, especially in dim lighting. It's kind of hard to film. But uh, it works really well. It has the cable, it has a stand. You can also, if you have a, something on the wall, like a, a nail or a, um, a push pin, you can attach it with that. There's a battery in there for memory, I think. And it's really nice and bright. I just have to figure out exactly how to set it up. So I have the, the manual here and I just have to, you know, read it closely and check this out. A lot of people wanted to see this little light tablet in action. So it's plugged in USB. You can see there's a, a light here to show that it's plugged in. 
Okay, so that's the first level. I would say that this first level is not very bright. This is a bit better. And this is the brightest. I'm not sure why there's this area that's grayer in the middle. It's possibly just how it's made. I grabbed the, a sketch from a past commission. And this is a piece of uh, Arsh rough paper. So you can still see it's not a very crisp image. It's not the brightest one, but it's sufficiently bright to be serviceable. If you remember, I had a bunch of stickers in my order and I decided to decorate these uh, sketchbooks with them. So it, there was 72 stickers, worked out perfectly for these two big books and this smaller one. They're just, you know, they're plain Fabriano sketchbooks. The cover was just black and a bit boring and I like to put stickers on my sketchbook, so that's what I did with this. All right, so I have a piece of black paper here. These are the white acrylic markers. I've tested out one already just to make sure it's all good. It's this sort of felt tip, bullet tip. And I didn't have any expectations, but they turned out really well. They're super opaque and I was pleasantly surprised with the result. So please let me know if there's anything else you would like to know about these products that I got and I will try my best to provide that information. But yeah, I just wanted to make this quick video to do a return on the items I got from Timu to show that it was not just about having an unboxing or a haul to showcase. It was actually stuff that was useful and that I had a plan for. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you Timu for sending me these items and I hope you have a great day. Bye bye. Thank you.